Professor Wintermute. I just wanted to thank you for a very erudite uh, exposition of complex legal theory on rights in a manner that the layman can understand. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is, in terms of, it's not about responding. I was going to say something on tolerance. And it's not about responding, but the example the gentleman used, I think the reaction, Trinidad is a very hospitable place, and people are usually hospitable. And people are respectful. And I think the reason for the reaction of booing and etc. was precisely because the manner in which the discourse was unfolding was inhospitable. That's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, while one may think in terms of religious perspectives and uh, we're talking here about and design, etc. There are many people who take a very uh, this different view in terms of how the universe unfolded. And some will say it took 14, over 14 billion years to evolve to where we are, and we continue to evolve. And that is a legitimate scientific perspective. What I wanted to say in terms of tolerance is our founding fathers in Trinidad have the foresight in our diverse culture to say that tolerance would be one of our watchwords, recognizing the difficulties in managing a society such as this, where people were thrown together from different parts, different continents around the world, at least three, Europe, Africa, the subcontinent in particular. So, our constitution also speaks about every creed and race will find an equal place here. You've linked the whole thing about race and genetics, etc. You've linked that to your creed as well. Creed can also, people believe in devil worship as you, you, you were talking about and demonic possession. But people believe in other things as well. Would any parent here in terms of the genetics, want their children or grandchildren to be discriminated against because of their sexual orientation? Is that the legacy that we want to leave for the years to come? We're looking at constitutional reform today. That's my, that's my point. The need for us to be more tolerant, to respect people's choice, and to recognize fundamental, inalienable rights that we all have cannot be denied by any majority, whether heterosexual or otherwise. 